Welcome everyone to our prayer journey with my tote daily devotion. Today's devotion is on that we are never outside of the reach of God. No matter how bad things look, how hard things are, we are never, never outside of the reach of God. God also gives us choices. And if we choose the right path, he will be with us. If we choose to walk away from him, we will find ourselves in even further trouble. But at any point down that road of persecution or judgment or just bad things that have happened to you, you can cry out to the name of the Lord and he will take you back. We are never outside of the reach of God. In Ezekiel 11, this chapter here, he is foretelling what is going to happen to the nation Israel. They are going to be captured and dispersed throughout all of the nations. And this is appeared to their lifetime might be permanent. But to other peoples, it may be generations after generation after generation before they are called back. And we know what happened with the Nazis and the Holocaust, those horrible things that were done. Yet even there, there was a hiding place that Corey Tem Boom wrote about, how under persecution, they called upon the name of the Lord. And the Lord was able to deliver Corey Tem Boom to tell the world, despite many Jews who died in horror. But God was there for them when they cried out. And let's read the verse and see what it says. And Ezekiel eleven sixteen 16, it says, Thus says the Lord, and this is what the coming captivity was going to be, Whereas I removed them far from among the nations, where I have seated them among the countries, yet will I be with them a sanctuary for a little while in the country where they come. So there's a sanctuary, a hiding place in God, in any country where the Jews were displaced. And let me say, this is true also for Christians. No matter what persecution, we even see it in Revelations where he talks about that those will be persecuted and killed by the sword, but they will, that would be the patience of the saint. Under all of that persecution, God is going to be with them. He's going to be a high tower, a hiding place for them. That's what it's saying here. All right, I will be a sanctuary for a little while in the countries where they are come. And again, Corey Tem Boom called her place, her book, The Hiding Place. And he gives choices here for God's people and even for those who do not know God. That at any time you can call on the name of the Lord and be saved. But here's the two courses he laid out for them. In 1119, I will give them one heart. All right, so if you choose, I will put a new spirit within you and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh and give them a new heart and a new flesh. That is the acceptance of Jesus Christ, that new heart and new flesh. That is what is going to happen at the end of Revelation or the, the end of before the rapture. They're going to have a new heart right during that period. Israel is going to come back. The law will be written upon their hearts. But those who refuse, and this is why we have that tribulation, 1121, put to them whose hearts walk after the heart of the detestable things and the abominations, I will bring their way on their own head, says the Lord. That is not real good news. But fortunately for mankind, Jesus Christ died on the cross, and that is, my friend, the good news. If you have chose that path to walk after your own heart, after detestable things, I don't care what you did. The good news of Jesus Christ is this. If you call upon the name of the Lord, thou shalt be saved. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and, and believe in thy heart, thou shalt be saved. And I just did another video not too long ago on this. That I am not ashamed of the gospel of God, for it is the power of salvation to all who believe. To the Jew first and also to Greek. All. 
All you need to do is just pray a prayer and ask Jesus into your heart. And if you have any confusion about that, check in the body of this video. It'll tell you how you can get saved. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.